Good morning, good morning. How lovely to have you with us. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Scotty McClure's live stream. We are, of course, live on Facebook Live and on YouTube Live, live streaming to every single one of you. Going out to Scotland, to England, to Ireland, to Wales, to Northern Ireland, and, of course, every other country in the world. Fantastic. Is that not just amazing? So you're watching an international live stream. Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, and, of course, the world's most humble man. In my 29th year of broadcasting Scotty McClue, phone-ins, television, radio, newspapers, you name it, McClue has been and done that. And uh, it's lovely to be with you all. Dinky do, Scotty. Says the wonderful J Dog Gaming. Good morning, J Dog. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome to our 10 o'clock live stream this morning. Always good to have you with us. And Dinky do. Morning, Scotty. Says the wonderful Magnus. Magnus, good morning to you. Robert Rovers, Ian Walker. Good morning, Scotty, says Robert. Good morning, Robert. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, it's great that we're all together again. So we need to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to get as many people as possible coming and joining us for the streams. We're live at 10 o'clock every morning and, of course, at 8 p.m. in the evening. That's British summer time. So you'll need to readjust for all your stuff there, I say. We've been joined by uh, Ian Walker, Robert Rovers, James Bauer, David Diston, Stuart Hotton, Dinky Do Stuart. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, good morning, Scotty Dinky Do. Tell Mrs. McClure I said good morning. I'll tell her right now, Glenn. Uh, darling! <coughs> darling! Yes, yes. Glenn says good morning. Glenn. Remember Glenn from Sheffield from last night? Yes, that's it. He's joined us again today, which is wonderful. All right, I'll tell him. Yes, she says thank you, Glenn. Very much appreciated. Good old Mrs. McClure, you know. Uh, when I clicked on your stream there, I got an advertisement. Well done for implementing that into your streams. J-Dog, I think it's... Um, the big bosses are doing it, actually. So there you are. I think that's what must have happened. Uh, you know, we're attracting a lot of attention on the channel, and that's great. I don't mind if you don't mind. Uh, you're a millionaire man, says Stuart Hotton. Yes, I am the richest man in the world. I just don't have any money. So there you are. But I'm definitely the richest man in the world. Why? because I get to be with you guys. I get a tiny, tiny share in your day, a tiny share in your education, all that sort of thing. What a privilege that is. So there we are, and I am serious. Uh, the wonderful Kareem Zakaria. Hello, Scotty, how are you today? Morning, J-Dog, Glenn and Catherine. Catherine Raven, good morning, Scotty. Dinky do, dinky do to you, Catherine. Lovely to have you with us, and a very warm welcome to our live stream this morning. You'll notice I've got my bonnet badge on. Yes, it was quite difficult for you to see it because you were only seeing me from the top up. So, like Mozart, you know, you assume that's all there is to Scotty McClure. He is a talking head. But I've got my bonnet badge on. You can always see that. There we are. And uh, that'll just keep you all up to date. Bring them on camera, says everybody. Yes, absolutely. So, Stuart, what makes you think I'm a millionaire? How amazing. Um, I've, everybody's been very generous, though. I have to say, I've had a lot of cups of hot chocolate. People have been clicking the dollar bill sign at the top of the super chat. And sometimes it's at the bottom if you've got an iPhone. And somebody even said they had it on the left. Magnus, do you like the badge? I thought that was rather good. Hello, Kareem, says the wonderful J-Dog. I love involving Mrs. McClure in saying morning and evening. It means I care, doesn't it? Oh, Glenn, you care. You're a very caring man. And we love that. Everybody on here is a beautiful person. That's it. That's why we get rid of the dafties last night, you know, because everybody here is a beautiful person. I don't think that's in doubt. Good morning, Kareem Dinky Doo. So there we are. Excellent stuff. Scotty, what's the plans today, Kareem? Very, very, very busy day. But I still have cleared the decks so we can stream live 
and get chatting to everyone because Karim, as of Monday night when I celebrated, and I mean celebrated, 28 years of Scotty McClue on all the top radio stations in the UK, going out to millions and millions, everyone in the UK should by now have had an introduction to Scotty McClue. 28 years, newspapers, television, ITV, BBC, the lot. And here we are, all together on YouTube. We are part of the future, and I'm entering my 29th year. And we had a complete and utter half-witted idiot saying the other day, time to give it up, Scotty. This is people projecting themselves onto you. What's it got to do with him? Zero. There we are. Derek Hood, Dickie News, Jim Hutton, always in the chippy, getting fish supper teas. Of course, proper. A millionaire in life experience, Scotty. Robert Rovers, now you're talking. A friend of mine invited me to his country house for the weekend. And he said, don't come looking like a millionaire. And I said to him, I beg your pardon, what does a millionaire look like? Because we all know the famous story of the um, guy that went in showing, you know, too much um, cleavage at the back of his jeans, all that stuff. Very, very scruffy guy. And there was a Rolls Royce in the showroom window. And um, he said, uh, how much are you looking for for that? And the salesman said, I think you may find it's out with your price range. So, so there we go. What a dafty. What a daft salesman. So there you are. The guy probably ran a massive construction company and was willing to pay cash. In fact, I think that was the story. Uh, Derek, good thing you do. There we are. Fantastic stuff. Now then, I was actually, in fact, I was actually there. Now that I think about it, because I remember him screaming up in a van outside the dealership and going in because I was admiring the car in the window. So there you are. And I heard all the chat, big, tall boy in a suit. I think you'll find us out with your price range, so. <laughs> uh, I wasn't there to see the daft days. No daft days as such last night. Couple trying it on a wee bit, J-Dog, but very, very mild stuff compared with what we're used to, you know. From that point of view, good morning. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. We're live streaming, and uh, we are live, and we're talking to you on Facebook and YouTube. Lovely to have you with us. Stephen Lipton, Dinky Do, Gregor Beard and Derek Hood, welcome. Always lovely to have you guys with us. Uh, Catherine, I know, missed last night. I was angry and sad. We're all here now. Yes, but Kareem, what did McClue do about that, right? What action did McClue take to ensure that your anger was very much emollified? <laughs> Liked and shared, says the wonderful Kareem. Excellent. Spill, Kareem. Tell them what we did. Hope you had a nice breakfast. Johnson looking after your Mrs. McClure. Johnson's very good at waiting table. Tea, sir. Thank you, Johnson. There we are. Mum, for you. <laughs> Tea, madam. I was in Lahore during the day. Such a beautiful place. Scenery, etc. Pfeiffer's lol. Angry people. Well, they'll be angry at the moment. What they used to say, Kareem, <clears throat> pardon me, if you're supping with the Pfeiffers, you need to use a Lang spoon. Right? Now, work that one out. There we are. Dinky doo to everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Can you all share? If you're watching, share. Absolutely. Let everybody know that you're watching McClure Live. I watched it later. Yes, Scotty, thank you. I sent Kareem his own private viewing. So there we are from my YouTube. Wonderful stuff. So uh, it gave Kareem a wee chance to catch up. So we don't want you missing. Kareem, I'll tell you the place I was thinking, the lovely wee place, Kinross. And it has Kinross House, which was designed by... Now, who was the designer of Kinross House? A knighted gentleman. And it's absolutely stunning. Views of the Loch and Loch Leven. And, of course, Loch Leven Castle was where they imprisoned the wonderful Mary, Queen of Scots. They were so horrid to that woman. You know, it's dreadful. Um, how many years has Johnson been your butler, Scotty? 
Ooh, Glenn, 36 years since he came from the agency when I joined ITV. First thing I did was get a butler, you know. It's what, what everyone does, isn't it, really? I'd seen it on Thunderbirds, you know. I've, I, did they not have the butler on Thunderbirds? They had the chauffeur, they had Parker. Yes, my lady. <laughs> Parker. F.A.B. Parker. How many years? Yes, absolutely. So so that's what's going on there, you see. Dinky-doo. Right, can we get sharing? Otherwise, we'll spend the whole hour chattering away to each other. Nobody will know we're on, and they'll all come down, standing down. I said, uh, it's just gone 11 o'clock. Oh, for goodness sake. I shouldn't have had that extra uh, drama last night, you know. Oh, Miss Scotty McClure! And that will be the cry right across the world. Dinky-doo, Scotty and everyone. So the wonderful Rolster Mary. Uh, John Jones. Morning, Scotty. Off down with the dog to Salkoats. A wee bit of fresh sea breeze. I'll tell you, there used to be a sort of funny smell around Salkoats sometimes. Isn't it? Somebody no brush their teeth today. But uh, I, the last time I was in Salkoats, I didn't notice that. It might just depend on the way the seaweed comes in. Robster, hi. Hi, Kareem. You see, when we were wee, if you went swimming in the sea, you were actually swimming through the, the raw stuff, you know? Because what happened was there were big pipes on the beach, and it all came out. So there we are. Somebody flushed the larvae, boom, on the beach. Hi, Robster. Hi, Kareem Zakaria. But the salt water did its stuff. Walked dogs. I say hello, everyone. When they walk past, they acted as if it was a crime or they grunted at me. Lol. They can tell I'm a Ouija. Not at all, Kareem. Mind you, a Ouija does have quite a lot of style about them. Do you know what I mean? Uh, Kirot's House, late 17th century, is the wonderful Kareem, overlooking Loch Leven near Kinroth, Sir William Bruce. Do you know, Kareem, I didn't say the name because in my head was Sir William Bryce. And I'm very glad because I was thinking of David Bryce, the great Scottish baronial architect, and William Byrne, who designed huge properties like Poltalloch House in Argyll, which the walls of which still stand. And the roof was removed, I think, in 1959 or something like that. It was certainly, it was gutted, it was stripped, and there wasn't any rot in it. It was just the government wanted huge rates off the family. And that's, you know, that annoys me. I think it was a Labour government at the time, and these sort of things annoy me. Um, you know what I mean? When they... Uh, and um, they, they, they have politics of envy. So they go, see, when I, as soon as I get into power, the rich have had it. You need to not have that attitude because we need the rich, but not when they're putting trillions offshore. They need to bring a wee bit of wealth back onshore. So there we are. Fantastic stuff. Um, right, there we are. Just a wee bit of a rant there. A, a political show, of course, but you're right. Um, uh, the house began 1685. The architect was Sir William Bruce as his... Let me see more. You can even have got to watch clicking see more because I once lost a whole broadcast. The equipment's so sensitive. Uh, so I can't, I can't see the rest of that, actually. What a shame. So there we are. Anyway, yes, Sir William Bruce designed Kinross House and it is stunning. The most gorgeous, gorgeous big old house. But um, I wouldn't like to live in one of these big old places. Now, the only thing is the view over Loch Leven is stunning. Uh, morning, Scotty, says David Taylor. First day back at work, working in the warehouse, listening to the king. Good man, David, because I put this on in the morning for you because I knew you couldn't join us at night. I remember going to Sandilands when younger. You're right, always a smell. We thought it was the abattoir. John Jones, I, there was a wee, a wee whiff, you know, at Salkoats by the sea. People used to go on holiday to Salkoats. J-Dog, I love this. Listen to J-Dog, guys. Sorry, Scotty, got to go off for my own stream. Feel free to join after you've finished yours. 
J-Dog, how amazing. Good luck with that. That is tremendous. Even although you're in competition to the great McClure. Good luck with that, J-Dog. I love it. The next generation guys are streaming. You enjoy that, J-Dog, and thank you for all your support. Have a wonderful morning. Guys, send them um, great strength and good wishes to J-Dog because he's going to stream himself. Much appreciated, Scotty. Not at all, David Taylor. A privilege. We want the best for you. Stephen Mooney is watching. Dinky doo. Lovely to have you. Nikki McHugh. Morning, Scotty. Not so good weather today, but Nikki, still a beautiful day. Why? Because you're in the world. I am in the world. Everybody else is in the world. So there you are. I get really, really annoyed. I don't obviously hate anything, but I get really annoyed when um, people say, oh, it's a horrible, horrible, dreadful day. Dreadful day, and you think, no. Walking 10 miles to get some dirty water uh, to drink in the desert, that's a dreadful day, <laughs> you know, all these sort of things. We don't really have dreadful days. We have challenges when we think, how am I going to get by with this blooming, blooming lockdown, blooming coronavirus? Much appreciated, Scotty. Uh, Kareem, Scotty, I read a puppy was murdered in East Kilbride in the park. Another dog locked onto its head. It should have been muzzled, but no action taken because it was on a lead. Very, very frightening, you know, very frightening. Owners need to be very careful and don't ever breed dogs for fighting. You know, I mean, it's illegal and it's so bad for the dog. So there you go. And uh, morning, David. Morning, morning, Green. Yes, I'm so sorry. God bless the wee puppy. God rest its little soul. Morning, Kareem. Disgraceful about the dog, says David. Absolutely shocking. Got to leave the house, but we'll be listening in the car. Gordon Robertson, take great care of your dear self, only if it's hands-free and it's no trouble. And report back, Gordon, because, I mean, I, I don't make any secret, you know, I mean, my coupon might not be the finest swatch in the morning. So report back about the sort of radio quality of what you're hearing in the car and tell me if it's just for you. Glenn Peacock, always turn a negative into a positive. You have to, Glenn. Otherwise, what is the point of life? Do you see what I mean? The point of life is that we have to turn everything round and uh, we have to give people strength. You know, I noticed there's a hashtag. It's okay not to be okay. I actually used it yesterday because I thought, no, that's fair enough. Guys, there's a new TikTok up at Scotty McClue. I TikTok last night. So there we are. Um, you should ask Mrs. McClue to rustle you up a nice plate of kippers for your breakfast, Scotty. Nobody seems to entertain kippers for breakfast anymore. Don't know what they're missing. Robert Rovers, kippers are stunning for breakfast. But personally, I get a wee repeat all day. I mean, blah. I'd, sorry, I had kippers this morning. Urgh. You know, that sort of idea. But I do love them. And have you ever had an arbol smoky? Apparently you can get an arbol smoky and just eat it. Um, you just gobble it up and it's beautiful. So there we are. You see, my father was from Tarbert in Argyle. So he was the master of the kipper. And he showed me as a tiny how to bone them, how to lift out the whole skeleton. And out it came. Gordon, are you away to the shops? Guys, Gordon Robertson might be away to the shops. Gordon, tell us if you're away to the shops because people will be wanting things. <laughs> if you live like life that like you've already lived and died, you'll be happy and content and won't worry about things you haven't done either. Catherine, I used to worry about never appearing to be in a rush in my life, holding down these what other people call big jobs. And... Um, you know, I, I remember I remember a house I shared with a guy uh, when I first went down to Preston and um, what have you. And I remember him shouting on me. I was having a bath before I went to do the phone in. And I remember shouting up, come on now, that's eight o'clock. And I said, oh dear, do I have to rush? And he shouts back, 
when did you ever rush you know and i worry about the lack of rush and then i think do you know we'll be coming back if you've had a good life you'll be back if you've been a baddie like the guy that took scotty mcclue's life savings then um, i'm afraid it's game over isn't it really at the end of life Smokey's great also pickled herring now robert rovers i love a pickled herring the wonderful Ed Strang Steele's watching, Ed Dinky Do. Lovely to have you with us. Thank you for joining us. You are a top man. And uh, I'm hoping to catch up with you at some point. And thank you for your lovely invitation and your joyful banter. There we are. So, Ed, Ed Strang Steele, Dinky Do. John Gallagher. There we are, Dinky Do. John, lovely to have you with us. Never compare self to others. No, have you noticed? I mean, I had to pull a dear friend of mine up one day because um, she said, well, are you going to manage to do such and such? I said, I don't think so. She said, well, other people manage. I said, yeah, but you see, that's other people. You know, I'm, this is me. I'm me. You know, I'm never afraid to be you. It's a lovely thing to be. You know, so there we are. Live every day. Treat every day as if it's your last. God, are you way to the shops there? Kareem shouting. <laughs> Is kippers a fish like sardines? Kareem kippers are smoked herring. Am I right, everybody? Kippers are smoked herring. So they're open. The loch fine herring is your best. And um, then they're opened and smoked over, I think, oak chips at the smokery. And they take a lovely kind of um, golden color and the taste of the smoking and that. And they're beautiful for your breakfast. But as I say, sometimes I get a wee bit of the indignation, you know. But then that's me. Perhaps now that I don't drink alcohol, my system will be much better because I couldn't take cheese before. I got um, a sore tummy. Now I can take cheese because I don't drink alcohol. So as I was saying, I think we're mixing our own mix, chemical mix, inside us. So, Scotty, do you believe in reincarnation or when you die, your spirit, conscience, and essence belongs to the universe? Kareem, yes, I think when you die, I mean, why have I acquired all this knowledge for radio and television companies to say, oh, no, you're, you're, you're too old now, Scotty. You know, we wouldn't be. We're trying to attract the youngsters. Say, no, no, what you're going to do is just, uh, you know, I can't use the word hack off. You're going to hack off your audience by all that uh, caca you're putting out. I had a narcissist in my life. They got charged trying to empty my account this time round. So I told the bank to freeze my account as I knew it would be the next move. Well, this was a narcissist as well, Catherine, yes. Uh, so there you are. It's a horrible feeling. That had, that had to happen to you, Scotty. Sorry you had that done to you. Well, the only thing was it was done to me when I was 52. And as a friend of mine said, that is just so wrong. And at your age too. Because you then have to spend, well, we're still trying to recover from it. Do you know what I mean? It's that sort of stuff. Uh, and it's all the lies and the and the stealing and the cheating and all that kind of stuff. Because I like to have a pretty straight relationship with people. And I've done some incredible deals on a shaky hand. You know, people that you could actually trust. And this is the only bad person, the only bad man I've ever met. So that's not bad, is it? Uh, you know, and I got told, well, you're very lucky because there's a lot of them out there. Uh, so they are, but it is a dreadful feeling that they just, uh, you know, you become a victim of someone else's narcissism. Catherine, I'm so sorry, and I hope you've moved on from that experience upwards and onwards. What you have to do is make sure you preserve you so you don't become upset and angry and unhinged and and uh, start drinking and all that sort of idea, you know. So what I had to do was just clear the decks, absolutely no alcohol, no tobacco, speak to all the creditors that had been lied to, uh, clear up the mess, you know, and uh, that takes a long, long time. Uh, we should have a conversation about narcissism, because this I'm learning off 
She says she's been sick and criticized for saying it's an epidemic. Uh, the epidemic, no, 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 narcissism, I think. I don't know if it's from birth. Um, but uh, what you'll find is a lot of people inwardly are raging. They're absolutely raging. They're angry. And that's thing. Dinky do, Scotty, says the wonderful Ed Strength Steel. Ed, I hope you're well. Um, are you in America or the UK? Uh, Jane McDonald, the wonderful Jane McDonald. There we are, who works tirelessly for the good of others, is, uh, has joined us. Dinky do, Jane. James Dryland's watching Morning Scotty. Good morning, James. Lovely to have you with us, and welcome, welcome. Guys, we're multi-streaming. This is huge. What is narcissism, really? Narcissism, Kareem, is when you think you really are it and a bit. I'm not talking... Um, I'm not talking like Scotty McClure. <laughs> That's different. Narcissism is when you think you're it in a bit and other people are beneath you. And you might just be just an ordinary angry punter and you think you're actually a bit better, you know. And uh, there's a lot of psychopathy tied up with it, you know, as well. But if you ever see a film called Shutter Island with Leonardo DiCaprio, and it's the prison governor says, you can't beat the psychosis out of everyone. You know, so that's that, out of anyone. So it's psychosis, it's in their brain. You know, it's in their brain. Yes, absolutely. So it's, uh, it's, it's like that sort of stuff, narcissistic, uh, somebody that is really absolutely self-obsessed to the point of view of um, others are just cardboard cutouts. You know, that sort of idea. Very, very strange. And it is, uh, you know, yes, probably is um, an actual an actual illness, um, you know, but the, the results with these people walking about can be devastating. So they were, because a lot of them take up being a con person and try and con others. The tricks to catch them, you know, that stuff. You know, I mean, this is where you wonder if the Middle East um, have got exactly the right idea. Somebody steals the chop off a hand, you know, and then you would know somebody going about, you know, with the old, um, you know. The only trouble is I would feel sorry for somebody who maybe lost a hand in an industrial accident. That's the stuff. So it might be better if you tattooed the old forehead, con, con person or thief. Uh, so that sort of idea. Um, so there's these kind of stuff. Yes, absolutely. Morning, Scotty. Morning. Dinky do, everybody. Thanks for joining us. A very, very warm welcome. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClue, if you wonder what's going on. I'm the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster, and the world's most humble man. So there we are. Yes. Thank you for tagging me, Catherine, in Scotland, Ireland. That's great stuff there. Just seen that pop up. How wonderful is that? Uh, it's a horrible feeling. Absolutely, Catherine. Yes, because you feel foolish. You know, it's that sort of stuff you think. It's a bit like if you were working in a psychiatric unit and somebody said to you, never, ever, ever turn your back on him. You know, and then there was an accident and you got an attempted stabbing or something, and someone said, what happened? And you said, I turned my back. Well, you were told never to do that. You know, it's that sort of idea. So you just have to be very careful. They lack empathy for you. They hate your happiness and progress. They feed off your energy. I think that's true, Catherine, even from a distance. And people will be laughing at this. But even from a distance, um, I think they try and steal your energy you know, distance, because I've got a lovely friend that does distance healing, and it works. She just kind of tunes in to the person, and she has healed. It's incredible. Um, so there we are. Lord, it's hard to be humble. The wonderful Alistair Campbell, isn't it not just? You know what I mean? That's why Scotty McClure is known as the world's most humble man, and the world's top broadcaster, and the first lord of the internet. I can't help that, can I? So there we are. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. Uh, Fiona Hayward, did he do? So there we are. What is it? 
Well, Lord, it's hard to be humble when you're as good as you are. Is that the words? Can't remember. Uh, excellent stuff. Fiona Hayward, did you do? But um, no, you have to keep uh, uh, the, the humility about you um, when you're doing uh, powerful things. You have to realize that that's a gift you've been given. And it may well be a gift you've been given from God, you know, depending on your beliefs. Narcissism, excessive interest in or admiration of oneself and one's physical appearance. Uh huh. Oh, yes, I see the jawline there. <laughs> Crazy stuff. I'll tell you what you do get, which is very interesting. The jealousy thing is a dreadful one. And Catherine, you've touched on it there. Guys, can I have more likes, like, like, to like, like, to like, to like? Like, 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 to like, like, to like, to like. If you haven't liked the stream this morning, please do so. So there you are. Very, very interesting. I wish we could take calls. Um, what I've learned when you see stroke, sorry, see forward slash, meet toxic people. Stay away and cut them out your life. Keep your energy positive. Best to be alone than be with fakes and users. Kareem. You're absolutely right. I mean, I've spent my life giving as much as I can to other people, as much of my time, as much of myself. You know, and somebody might say, you're a fool. Uh, but I drew the line when people used to phone me up and book me uh, for stuff and say, the only problem is we don't have any money. But could you come along? It's a charity. And could you come along and do this? And I had to be very, very careful because you could be a busy fool, you know? And the charity, they would say, now tonight we've raised 18,000 pounds. And could you also give a big round of applause to our MC for tonight, Scotty McClue, who's very kindly given of his time? And you think, yes, there we are. Very interesting. And you say, did you raise that £18,000 because Scotty McClure was here? That's the idea, you see. Quite interesting. But there we go. So, David, so somebody said to me, Scotty, always charge a fee, even if it's a small one. You know, and I think, I think that's quite right because you don't phone the plumber, say you're wanting new central heating, but you don't have any money. You've got a wee problem. You know, and also you get people, um, they were going to pay Scotty McClure uh, £250 to do that, but Jimmy McQuackle did it for nothing. Good. Well, well done, Jimmy McQuackle. You know, that sort of idea. <laughs> good, good stuff, I say. When it's your profession. Yes, Kareem, do not let them know anything. Be careful of their flying monkeys. You have to disappear from social media altogether. Absolutely, Catherine. Well, I think you don't get involved on that level in social media. A wee donation helps. Alistair Campbell, a wee donation always helps. Uh, you'll be rewarded in heaven by your kindness, says John Jones. John, um, I don't do it for that, but I wouldn't be surprised if, um, you know, when I get there, I meet all you other lovely people. That would be the thing. And we'll start a live stream. <laughs> we'll start a live stream in heaven when we all go there. Fantastic. Well, the one thing I do know is that uh, the, the bad person that uh, um, did me out of my life savings, um, there's no question of them going anywhere near heaven or even being able to believe in it, I would think. Scotty, will our Scottish borders need to close temporarily to England? Rising numbers of COVID at the borders and it could keep over. I think we should look at shutting the borders if that's the case. The last time the border was shut was when the Stone of Destiny was taken from Westminster Abbey and brought back home from under Edward the Confessor's chair and brought back home to Scotland. And the police, it's always been very dodgy that... <clears throat> the police were there because a crime had been committed, they thought. But you see, had a crime been committed? When you're bringing the Stone of Destiny home, the only thing is they did break into the Abbey, I believe. I think a jemmy was used to get into the Abbey. Can narcissistic people change their ways? I don't think so, Glenn Peacock. 
you need a tremendous amount of therapy before they got the message because the narcissism would prevent them from listening to sound advice, from listening to instruction, from therapy. So they would uh, think they were being cleverer than the psychiatrist and they'd pretend they were going along with it. You know, the kind that if they were medicated, they would take their pills and spit them out. And that's sort of idea. Uh, they're in our families. You become the scapegoat when you don't buy into it. Uh, and you see through them. No, they cannot change. No, I think you're absolutely right, Catherine. I don't think you can change narcissism. But you can take steps to avoid narcissists. Blue bonnets to the borders. The blue bonnets are over the border. And of course, I used to work for Border Television. We were based in the lovely Carlisle. So there you are. You're right, Scotty. There we are. You can avoid the narcissists. You can recognize them. It's difficult to recognize because they can be very plausible. You know, the narcissists can be very plausible. Uh, so there you are. But do be very, very careful. And don't ever get involved in business with them. And, um, you know, I mean, this one's formula was to get you involved in a business venture. And he's done it to other people since. To get you involved in a business venture and then start taking you out of the business. You know, writing you out of the business once you paid your whack and they don't pay. They don't pay their whack. Uh, yes, educated about them. They're charming people because they mirror you. They try and mirror you, yes. So if you're charming, they'll be charming back. And then you start to see cracks appearing. When you're not playing their game. So there we are. I think there are a few narcissistic people in my profession, says Kareem. Uh, perhaps Kareem, but not too many. Uh, the bulk of people in your profession are outstanding human beings because they are dedicating their life. Uh, remember, teachers are not in it for the income, they're in it for the outcome. Yes? So that's the thing there. Angels in the street, demons in the home. Yes, you can get that too, Catherine, behind the closed doors. Um, they will be from experience, Kareem. So there will be from experience, Kareem. Yes, absolutely. There'll be, and I think they're in all walks of life. You know, I think that's the whole thing. You've just got to keep an eye. I mean, somebody was saying to me at a lecture recently, where do the bulk of psychopaths work? And I jokingly said Parliament, which got a laugh, but apparently the bulk of them are chief executive officers of massive companies. Interesting, isn't it? So it takes that level of uh, psychopathy to think they're big enough to, say, command a, a £20 million salary. Uh, so there we are. Catherine Raven, head teacher gave my family hell. She used to lie to my face. She got charged with embezzling. Now, there you are, Catherine. So a bad apple in the barrel. Excellent stuff. No names, no pack drill, of course. Very important. So there we are. Fantastic. Catherine, you're a very wise woman. So there you are. Fantastic. And, um, of course, the lovely thing is I can do as much blow as you like because... <laughs> Everybody trusts McClue and are quite right to do so. They are 100%. Many of our trusted leaders suffer from it, says Alistair Campbell, yes. And I've been around long enough. What you see is what you get. So there you are. I once said to my mother about somebody, I think it was an old family member, and I said, what was he like? Because he sounds fabulous. And he was fabulous, this guy. And she said, he was full of the blow like yourself. And what you'll find, Catherine, you'll know about this. What I've had in my life, if people say, I wish you'd just shut up and stop talking all of it. You know, now, that's jealousy because they wish they could talk. Everybody loves to talk. That's what we're doing on here. That's why we all get together, because we love a chat. And why not, you know? So there we are. Many of our trusted leaders, many of our not-so-trusted leaders, Alistair Campbell as well, Fantastic. So there we are. Very interesting to hear from you. Very A man of great wisdom, Alistair. That's what you are. 
They're often overlooked in business because their great sales. Oh, they're often overlooked in business because they're great salespeople. Plus, no one is awake to it until it happens to you. You don't even understand the education about them. So there you are. Yes, <coughs> very interesting, Catherine. You need to tell me more. Very, very interesting. So they're but they're overlooked in business because they're great salespeople. Overlooked for promotion, you mean? Uh, Scotty, I've just looked and had no idea Cumbernauld have an airport. Karim Zachariah, Cumbernauld Airport. Tell us more. What's it called? Cumbernauld. Remember that one. What have we got here? Lots of beautiful people. Hang on. Let's get you all announced. So there we are. David Turner's with us. Nicola Tom. Good morning, Scotty. I've been watching your YouTube of a broad day. Nicola Dinky do. Even if only a few of us are watching, a lot of people join us live later. Uh, join us later in the day to watch the live. Most of narcissists in Parliament do, says Robert Rovers. Well, no, I think you have to have a good conceit of yourself. You see, the Scots will always describe something perfectly. They'll have a description for everything. Going back to buns, a man's a man for all that. So the rank is but the guinea stamp. The man's the goud, the gold for all that. So your rank is fine. That's just a guinea stamp. There you are. Wonderful Andrew Down has joined us. Good morning, Scotty. How do we get a hold of a badge? Are you still on at night, Andrew? Eight o'clock sharp at night. The badges are they're very, very rare now. But everybody loves the badges. Fantastic stuff. <laughs> you know, I remember showing it to somebody that, oh, that is amazing. Can I get one? <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it? But I just thought, a bonnet badge. Everybody should have a bonnet badge to be dinky do. you just got to be careful that the, the pin doesn't stick into your head. Uh, Molly Scotty, yes, indeed. Is narcissism, here we are. Is narcissism an illness that causes people to be like that? What are their motives and what's their purpose in life? Um, so what's their purpose in life? Are they evil people? Um, not every narcissist is evil, but very often evil people are narcissistic. That's what I would say. Would that be fair, Catherine? So not every narcissist is evil, but almost all evil people will suffer some form of narcissism. Well, think about it. They're totally dishonest. You know, they're not acknowledging how the world works. So they're dishonest, you know, and uh, you, you've just got to watch about that. No, complaints about bullying are overlooked because they get credit for delivering great sales figures, etc. Even if they steal credit from their co-workers. Oh, they do. You know, I've worked with them. I've worked with them in the media, Catherine. You know, it's a personality disorder, says Catherine Raven. Absolutely. Most are psychopaths. Yes. So there we are. Um, and... Uh, Bums was right when he wrote man's inhumanity to man. Well, if you're going to rob somebody, why would you rob Scotty McClue? Why would you do that? Do you know, very strange. I've never done anybody any harm. Never did this guy any harm. And um, to a certain extent, looked after him. You know, all that sort of idea. So do they only see it from their point of view and nothing else matters? Um, well, yes, Glenn, I mean, there is only them in the world and they're in their own movie. And anybody else that appears is a cardboard cutout and uh, the other people's job is to do something for them. So there you are, that sort of idea. Hello, Scotty, I'm happy to be in another live stream, Dinky Doo, Keen Grey. Lovely to have you with us and a very warm welcome to our morning pop-up. You know, the figures are not huge in the morning, but they build up over the day. Cumbernauld Airport, Karim Zachariah, fantastic. I've never flown into it. Self-obsessed to the exclusion of all else, says Robert Rovers. Absolutely, Robert. That's what it's about. 
Good morning, says the wonderful Nationwide Coin Hunt. Good morning, Nationwide. Lovely to have you with us. I hope you're well. And dinky do. So there you go. Fantastic stuff. And good morning to everybody. If you've just joined us, folks, you're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet. The uh, world's top broadcaster, I say that most humbly. And the world's most humble man. I have three titles I lay claim to. So there we are, self-obsessed to the point of all else. Well done, Robert Rovers. Very good. So there we are. This is why I want the opposite of narcissism. I want Scotty McClue to facilitate, facilitate public access radio, public access television and to an extent public access newspapers although newspapers are having a tough time they're kind of a wee bit of a thing of the past you know um, i know there's concern about books we need to look into that we want to not lose books guys let the technology take over we don't want that you know and uh, and remember with technology you could actually bail out i mean it does have us to an extent you know i noticed when i uh, I got a device, and I can now watch YouTube on the telly, so I can see our live streams, and I must say I'm not ashamed of any of them. I think they're outstanding, uh, though I say it myself, and that's due to you guys, not not to do with me. Uh, absolutely, Glenn, the mirror personalities to blend in, they're cold inside, super insecure. They try to avoid feelings of shame at all costs. And they do that very well until you go no contact. Yeah, they don't like that, no contact. I had one that used to try and steal my energy. I could feel it. What are you doing? I'd be sitting from a distance. It would come into my mind and try and steal it. I spoke to somebody who's a specialist about this. He's trying to steal your energy. He's exhausted all his own. Uh, you know. And this guy was very, very wealthy. I said, why? He said, what's wrong? He said, jealousy. So why would he be jealous of me? Is it because he can't do what you do? <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? So there, uh, I should phone in one day about it. I think, Catherine, you should. You should Skype us. Unfortunately, at the moment, until I save up and get myself some new equipment, we're using the Skype device to live stream on uh, Facebook Live. So there we are. Fantastic. And uh, I apologize if the quality is not terribly high on Facebook Live. Apparently, it's brilliant on YouTube. Lots of Kindles about, not the same as a book. Hard to enjoy, says Alistair. Well, yes, um, you know, I mean, there's lots of book reading devices and oral devices as well for people listening. Scotty, this feels like a counseling session with therapy. You'd pay for a session when you get free on Scotty. Well, Glenn, yes, but we're not specialists. A guy tried to take me apart on national radio for doing phone-ins because he said, you don't have a support network. You are not a professional psychologist. I said, no, but we've saved a lot of lives. <laughs> oh, Scotty, when I can get that autograph, I beg, please. Do you know, I was thinking about you, Massive O, and I was thinking about you this morning when I was dusting, I was at the high dusting, and I was thinking about that is what we used to send out from Scott FM, and I would sign the bottom of it. Now, if I can find another one of these, because they're very rare now, then I could sign that for you, you see. So that's, uh, that's the thought. So don't panic. We will get your signature. I used to sign these and I would say, uh, put that on your fireplace and keep the wings away from the fire. Somebody say, I'm no actually wanting one of your autographs, Scotty, when they were standing to meet you. And I would say, that's fine. Well, I'll give you one anyway and you can give it to somebody you don't like. <laughs> so that was it. And there's my grandfather off to the trenches in the First World War. There you go. Fantastic. What a top man he was. Absolute topper. Fantastic. So there we are. Very, very lucky. There we go. Handsome chap. Handsome chap as well. Uh, right. So that's what I'm thinking. So if I can get you one of these, you know, we will get you one. 
Oh, my God, please, says Massivo. We will get you one, Massivo. Please do not worry. So there you are. Uh, been a fan, been watching, been a fan watching for ages. Massivo, fantastic. Do you know, Scotty McClure, the other night, 28 years. I'm now in my 29th year. What you see is what you get. I know people say the live streams aren't the argy bargy and that. Well, you can't really. Do you know what I mean? You wouldn't be allowed to. Um, these people are in your families and will band together if you see through them. Watch the Narcissist Chronicles on YouTube. Watch them all. Find many different people who are devoted to education of it. So there you are. I don't know that I want to rake it all up, Catherine, because when you've been through the mill, as you know, uh, you want to get on with your life. Time is uh, time is short. Well, there we go. We never know when the day might be our last. There you are. Um, I mean, I had a big friend died uh, just a year past. On I think it was the second of June. He was he was barely sixty, and he had fortunes in the bank and everything, and um, he had a lovely day out. Uh, so there you are. And then that was it. Um, around the evening, just before dinner, he, he'd gone. Um, I would imagine it was Hart, uh, something like that. He was a big, a big guy. Uh, so there you go. Uh, the opposite of narcissism, empath. Eh? Empath or empathy. Yes, yes. I would hope that we have a lot of empathy on Scotty McClue's live streams. So there we are. That's what we are looking for. Empathy. Caring for others. Talking about others, to others, looking after others, all these things. That's what it's about. Uh, there you are. It always was, though, to be quite honest. Scotty, what I'm saying is all our life experiences and knowledge, we can help each other through good times and bad times in our hour of need. Yes, and we have an hour of need now because anybody could go out and contract coronavirus. Pardon me. And it makes me think that too much chat i've swallowed some air there and um, it makes me think that um the problem that we've got at the moment is nobody knows how long they've got and if you contract the coronavirus the game's up so all these people are going let's get back to normal go out there take a chance very 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 foolish that's right, Scotty, we're not guaranteed tomorrow. Today's all we've got. Yes, and don't live in the past. I love the past. I love nostalgia. This morning, I don't know if you saw it, I posted on my Facebook page um, a little movie somebody had sent of the steam train journey from Gurukh to Glasgow. And the steam trains came off in 1965. And I actually lived that moment because I stayed next to a station. And we used to have to shut the French window, we called it. it now be patio door. We had to shut the French window when the steam train started because they would start that each time they left. Very, very inefficient. And it said the journey from Guruk to Glasgow was 66 minutes. Now, I would imagine now they do it in about, I don't know, 40 minutes, something like that. Uh, Scotty, good discussions today. Speak tonight. Dinky-doo, everyone. Have a safe, fun day. Dinky-doo, Kareem, is the shortest stream suiting everybody? It seems to be, you know. I mean, obviously, we're not on as long, so I don't get as much of your time and things like that. But I think if we have an hour in the morning, an hour at night, we can always lengthen it again. Uh, not happening, is it, Scotty? Just like all the people going gung-ho on Bournemouth Beach. Baby steps, not hasty. Baby steps. Ah, I see where you're coming from. Bit of punctuation needed there, Glenn La. Uh, so there we are, yes. Your grade A supply, your number one in your truth. Your walk matches your talk. No contact and moving on is the remedy. Absolutely, that's what I was going to say. You know, let's think of today and tomorrow. The wonderful Ian Kerr's watching. Thank you, Ian. Lovely to have you with us. Um, right. If mornings stop, lengthen the night ones. Uh, good idea, Kareem. Yes. I may have to go out to do a day job, you see. Um, you know, because we have a saying in the media, 
never give up your day job. And I like to train people as well because I want the next generation coming up. That's why I was so chuffed to hear young J-Dog say he was off to do a live stream. Brilliant. If morning stops so we can do that, we can look at that, Kareem. Good idea. Uh, we'll maybe do a couple of hours at night if we have to stop the mornings and build up the stream. But everything's coming alive. Please subscribe if you haven't. I need subscribers. And it's so easy just to click a mouse. I don't understand why everybody hasn't done it. Everybody on social media should subscribe to Scotty McClue. Uh, the punctuation steps. Uh, no baby steps. I thought you were talk calling me baby. You know, we have to baby. <laughs> we have to baby steps. Scotty, do you remember seeing the um, clip, the slip you put, Alistair? I think the predictive text got you there. Uh, coach and trains, watch them on YouTube. Amazing. Wonderful. Yes, it was black and white, and it was so uh, fabulous. And, of course, I remember all that. I mean, Guruk Station is just a shadow of its former self. I suppose it's a sign of the times. But when you think the pier had multi, multi steamers in there, steam ships, steam trains to meet the steam ships, you know, and the west of Scotland was open to everybody. So, Kareem, you'd have loved the Clyde steamers because you could have had a day out without driving your car. So you would get the train into Glasgow Central um, and you would uh, then get the train to Gurukh. You would get off at Guruk, you could get a steamer to Ardrishig in the summer. The Loch Fine went to Ardrishig. Really enjoyable hour this morning, Scotty. See you tonight. Robert Rovers, have a fabulous day. Take great care of yourself. Stay fabulous. Top man. Oh, it's just about time to go, guys. Uh, so there we are. Uh, but uh, wonderful, wonderful memories. And I remember the day they were talking about electrification, but I think there was a little pause and we had diesels. Because I'm sure I remember the steam train stopping and the diesels taking us to school. Um, and then electrification to that line. Electric trains. Well, there we are. They used to jun, 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 jun. They used to tick over at the station. And they had the big pantograph up on the wire. Um, and I can remember somebody saying that the workmen had been told not to carry pickaxes or spades shovels over their shoulders because just in case there was a danger of conducting electricity from the live wires very interesting that and of course they would have to insulate all the metal bridges <laughs> so fascinating the growth of the railways but beaching uh, the development of the railways i should say not the growth because the railways were huge it was the shrinking of the railways due to beaching's cuts Conservative government cuts, cuts and cuts and cuts and keep the money. So there we are. Uh, Scotty Dinky do, big man, have a great day. Catch you later, Laura. Glenn Peacock, you have a fabulous day. Catherine Raven, have a wonderful day. Alistair Campbell, have a wonderful day. Kareem, have a wonderful day. Robert Rovers and Ian Kerr and all you beautiful people. The 303 Emus came in 1960. Were they diesels, Alistair? Because you'll be miles ahead of me here with that stuff. I couldn't believe it. I mean, it's so simple. A diesel train has diesel engines. And I thought they were up the front until I uh, heard one revving up in Glasgow Central. Because I think it was diesels that went down the Ayrshire route. And is that your Ayrshire making? And... Um, Electric Alistair Campbell, yes. Ah, right, so the electrics came in in 1960. Ah, but wait a minute, am I not right in thinking that the Brighton Bell was electric and she used to be uh, go from London to Brighton last thing at night, the Brighton Bell, and I think it took, was that an hour? Would it be an hour to Brighton from London, London to Brighton, the Brighton Bell, and I think, was she not electric? And the metro, there was a there was the metropolitan line in London. Was that not electric as well? Uh, so there you are, fantastic hour, guys. We have to go. We're out of time. Lovely. I just saw that there. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go.
Goodbye, everybody. Auf Wiedersehen, au revoir, and a cheerio. Ta-da, my loves. Dinky-doo.